I mean, these are people who are curious. They're here because they're fascinated with what they're doing. And so to get them involved in research really allows them to explode their curiosity and really test out the questions they have. I am thrilled to tell you I have had students over the summer for somewhere between 12 and 14 years. And I have them do genetic projects to understand what is the genetic basis of what makes bone strong. So I'm trying to show them the fundamentals of how we're finding those genetic variants that matter. I'd like you to meet the students who spent the summer of 2017 with me. I worked them to death, but you can see they survived. It's been fantastic. Uh, they, uh, the students really kind of bring the energy to the game. Um, I help them shape their research, uh, but they're usually very eager uh, to learn. Um, and, and if anything, you know, I'm, I'm more the, uh, the coach on the sideline, they're the quarterback in the game. My team has been involved with the entire um, evaluation of the intervention, both quantitative measures, analysis, data collection and cleaning, and qualitative interviews with parents, um, as, long as, as well as a lot of coordination of the data collection. I mean, they bring uh, an energy uh, and passion uh, to projects, uh, which is really, really incredible. They make great contributions. Um, they learn a lot, and we learn a lot from them. So it's, it's been a fantastic collaboration. I've had a really positive experience working with students. Um, I find that a lot of students come to the program really interested in public health and not quite understanding how research can inform public health policies and interventions. So when I start to meet students from orientations and open houses to you know getting right through the master's thesis, um, we go through a lot of the um, you know the training and the excitement. Over I think it's an incredibly important thing to do while you're in medical school. It gives you a more powerful way to analyze what you're reading and a better appreciation of the developments that are coming along. I think it, it winds up being a really excellent conduit. Uh, for something they're really passionate about. Uh, it's a chance for them to take something that they feel really strongly about and committed to and make it into something creative. Take advantage of what fascinating things they learn in their medical school and go after answering questions that they can't find the answers in the textbooks. Identify those areas that really float their boat uh, and get them excited and learn how to ask the questions and then get to the answers that will maybe move them into the next phase of their career. You know, get involved in a project that they're very interested in, find faculty members that they like to work with, and then throw themselves into the research. Work as hard as they can, get all of the training and the mentorship that they can get, and get those skills. I find a lot of students are very eager to, uh, to learn new areas and take a deeper dive into research. They often come a little bit idealistic uh, in the sense that they have a very, they, they want to solve, they want to cure cancer. They, they come with very big ideas. And then we have to sh uh, shape it and scope it. Uh, the process teaches them how to take down other big problems. What's your passion? Why do you want to answer? And also, what skills do you already have or do you want to develop? We try to involve students in every aspect of, of the research. We try to have them either carve some pieces, some questions for themselves to present. She's one of the co-authors of the posters and she's leading the presentation of this poster today, but also at a national conference in June for nutritionists.